Hey you guys, Green Gloves here and welcome to... So I know this is like long overdue, but today I would like to speak about Archie comics, but looking in particular all new Archie. Archie Comics died in December 1941 and was created by John Goldwater, written by Vic Bloom, and drawn by Bob Matana. The basic of all the Archie comics is kids in high school do stuff, stuff gets done to them, resolve, end. And there's a love triangle, because Archie a player, and also a bit of a cheat, but shh. Oh New Archie is the new series from Archie comic books and it is the modern take of Archie and his friends, such as Jughead, Reggie, Betty, Veronica, etc. What's nice about the comic is how they introduce the modern technology without overexposing it. The design is better, it's less cartoon-like, but it still has cartoon elements into it. Jughead looks awesome, Betty looks awesome, Archie looks the best he's ever looked and he, to me, has more of a character in this one. I wasn't always a big Archie fan in terms of him. He was too much of a cheater and a player for my taste. But in this one, he's much more down to earth and a lot more realistic and he seems like an actual good guy. And what's nice is, is he's our personal guide in his story. He breaks the fourth wall and he talks about his flashbacks which are in different shapes of the... Which are in different shapes of the comic squares and this is quite cool, it's, it's a nice idea, it's a nice design. The series has a lot of good moments such as Jughead, such as Jughead being a um, good friend and we see Jughead's origin story and in the first issue they introduce stuff for audience to keep coming back such as hashtag lipstick incident as well as they talk about Veronica without introducing her that only happens at the end of the second issue and what this does is to set up for the audience to come back to see what happens and why it happens. The hashtag lipstick incident is kind of complicated because Archie said that he doesn't want anything to change and he promised that it won't but then Betty goes and changes but she likes the change because she likes feeling pretty and she likes the acknowledgement but she didn't get the acknowledgement from Archie so it kind of backfired but Archie was trying to keep his promise and not changing but Betty went and changed and then Betty kind of like hit him twice or well, maybe it's not hit hit maybe it's more of a shove yeah, I don't want to read too much into it because I like Betty too much to do such things but it's it's yeah, I, I don't think I'm like intelligent enough to wrap my head around it but it's quite Strange. Yeah, it's Archie, all new Archie is just the life in the day, the day in the life of these comic book characters and what they're going through and at the end of issue 6 it's gonna be a Archie versus Mr. Lodge because Reggie was the one who exposed Archie to Mr. Lodge because in the second issue Archie went to get a job and Archie being a clumsy idiot that he is and this is where the cartooniness of the style comes in. He makes a whole mess and he makes the mansion, the structure of the mansion fall apart and he's trying to fix it but he makes it fall apart further but Veronica sees his face and yeah the relationship is slowly forming and we get to see like a softer side of Ronnie. Only when Archie's around, I mean see those short to Betty and this is where the high schoolness comes in because she sold her softer side to Betty. But then when she, I think when she notices that Archie is there, then she goes back to a snobby bitch. And this like pisses Betty off and this is what makes Betty want to take revenge and to protect Archie. For Veronica who in Issue 6, we see that Veronica generally cares for and likes Archie. So yeah, it's kind of like very high schooly and very... Almost to a certain extent childish. It can be like a nice guilty pleasure. Um, if you guys are really, really into Archie, I suggest check it out. 
check it out. Nice to see the character develop and the relationships develop and to see what's gonna happen next. Although there are some like designer elements, like this one panel which Jughead looks terrifying. There's also good design elements in the one in the beginning, in the first issue we actually feel the sense of heartbreak between Archie and Betty because Archie and Betty were dating since kindergarten and they recently broke up because of the hashtag lipstick incident. First story centers around other people trying to bring them back together, but that of course backfires because Jughead comes in and he's like, nah guys, need to sort them out by themselves. And which makes sense in the source's wisdom and understanding of human relations. And so that makes Archie be single, Betty be single. And then Veronica comes in and Archie and Veronica like fall for each other. And Betty's like, starts falling for this other guy. And I kind of want to see the relationship on this side. So yeah, it's like a typical high school trauma thing. But yeah, it's, it's a good read. The design is very good. Every designer did a good job. At the end of every issue, they have like a flashback to the beginning issues. The first issue was the flashback back to the first ever Archie issue and they also have like different cover designs in the end of the issues which is quite cool to check out. I think the, one of the flaws is it's very high school but I think after issue 6 it's gonna be a bit more mature because then it's gonna look at the uh, dad doesn't want boyfriend to be with daughter dynamic which I think is a lot more complicated. And yeah, I would like to see how that one goes. So now on to Riverdale. So very recently, the main cast for Riverdale has been introduced. We have Archie, who doesn't have ginger hair, but he's willing to dye his hair ginger. And some people are having an issue because maybe they don't think Archie is enough of a character unless he has red hair. I don't know, I think it's just a bit insulting, but that's just my opinion. Jughead, Betty, Veronica, Josie Sewell, I think it was, but not Reggie, even though Reggie is the original villain. Yeah, it's just interesting that the choice was to go for her instead of for Reggie, the first villain. Oh yeah, just, just I forgot to mention, in the first issue of All New Archie, there's quite a sweet moment between Reggie and Betty where Reggie comes to rescue Betty from being harassed by, and he does that by showing Betty his new car because he likes to show off but also I think because Betty is into cars I mean I don't think she is into cars so I think that was quite a nice moment so anyway we have the um, six leads of Riverdale introduced and I would like to see how they're gonna do it they say they're gonna be like go the more mature route where there's gonna be drugs and gonna be like the dark secrets like I think Archie's gonna be like a father. No, I'm joking. I have no idea, but maybe that would be a deep dark secret for a young high schooler, I think it is. I'm not sure, I didn't grow up in the American high school system. So I'm looking forward, I'm looking forward to see how they revamp it. I don't mind the costume choice. I personally like the idea of costing unknown, except for Jack Hid, but he's kind of been out of the acting industry for a couple of years to go and study, so it's kind of cool that he's coming back. So he is well known, but he's not as well known, if you get what I mean. But overall the casting unknowns was like an open audition, I think it was. And I like that they seem to be focused more on the acting talent than going for this character needs to look like this character. Because I mean you can like change looks to a certain extent, you can always dye so much hair and whatnot. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna like check out the first few episodes. Hopefully I'll stick with it, but that depends on the story. But yeah, it, it sounds like fun. I like that they're actually doing it. And I'm just curious, I'm not sure the direction I can't visualize how it's gonna look or how the story's gonna be. But I'm gonna check it out. So overall, Riverdale is coming out. I don't know when. All new Archie is going well. Yeah, go check it out. Thank you for watching and have a lovely day. Green gloves off.